hello guys welcome back to our channel we are so excited to have you again a lot is going on as uh, preparation is on top gear for who will be the flag bearer of uh, apc uh, presidential ticket come 2023 and most people have suggested that it should be a case of zoning don't forget that when we are talking about apc it's a composition of people from different political parties composition of acn which was led by um atinibu cpc which was also led by buhari and anpp led by dr obunaya onu and the new pdp which was led by rotomi amechi all of them unanimously came together to form apc and um, i believe that they may have been written and unwritten um agreement that they may have entered but it seems that everything is falling apart because most people that we had believed that they were going to be most considered and possibly the ticket will be handed without any struggle to them are even being rejected by the new bridge of politicians who are you know in apc and even by the old guys you understand so right now who will become the party uh, flag bearer is a trouble a chieftain has decided to speak in respect to this and he's talking about it or looking at the issue of zoning and for him he had declared what his stand is like when it comes to the issue of apc zoning for presidency come 2023 and has also revealed those who will be top deciders of that we're going to look at uh, what he had to say and also um analyze what his statement mean and what's the future of LPC. But first of all, let's look at the news. The former Boronu State Governor, Senator Kazim Shetima, has said that it is too early for the All Progressive Congress APC leaders to talk about which region of the country will be given the party's presidential slot in 2023. Shetima stated that Pres President Muhammadu Buhari, the APC national leader, Asiwaju Bolatinibu, and other leaders of the APC will resolve the zoning issue in due time. He noted that while speaking during a two day meeting, them retreat hell in Ado Ekiti, the state capital of Ekiti State. Um, Ek Shetima appeared alongside the Minister of Works, Babatunde Fashola, and vowed that the ruling party will not disintegrate over the choice for presidential ticket. Don't forget that our party still control the presidency. We have a leader and other competent leaders that can manage every crisis situation. At the appropriate time, our leaders will sit and take the most apt decision that will resolve the issue. APC is a party that is united and nothing can break us. I am confident that we will win the 2023 presidential election. APC will still remain the party to beat because of the unity of purpose and togetherness as well as desire to deliver for Nigerian. So I am confident and no cause for alarm what you call controversy will be resolved in the fullness of time. Those were the words uh, spoken by Shetima. And we, we just want to look at this because I, I right now, um, it's far beyond what Shetima is saying. It is believed that there will be a season when that decision will be made. But if we want to be very truthful to ourselves, we know that right now, even when 2023 is a little bit far away, but we know that there are a lot of consultation going on, a lot of things are happening. Now, looking at APC as a a composition of not less than four political parties, we know that uh, um, most people believe that after the advent of CPC, which is a subset of APC, there should be another party that will emerge, which most believe it should be ACN. But right now, things have Turn the way that nobody expected it will be. Some political weights whom he had made mention will be deciders of who will become the flag bearer for APC. Some of them have been thrown to, I mean, the, to the ground. Let's be real to ourselves. For example, let's let's mention names. The likes of Bola Tinibu. You know, Tinibu is a, an influential politician in APC. But to prove to him that he is of little or no weight when it comes to politics, especially at this 
this time when people seem not to pay so much homage to those who claim to be leaders. We saw what happened when he spoke about the Edo, Edo state uh, politics. Most people had believed that if he speak, Eze Yama was going to carry the day. But when he spoke, the people turned against Eze Yama. It was even what, I would say that was what removed the stool of the, uh, the, the, the bomb bomb of Eze Yama. Because immediately he spoke, he angered the people. And shockingly, a whole Asiwaju Bola Tinibu spoke and everything was frustrated. So now, it was an indication that when we are talking about 2023 politics or looking at APC and looking at presidency come 2023, no one can be so sure that it will go to him. Don't forget that this same APC we are talking about, the, most people believe that Whatever that should be done, the Southeast should be the ones bearing the flag of APC or the ticket of APC when it comes to presidential election. And that's why we have seen a lot of the defection, you know, people deserting other parties and going to APC, the likes of uh, uh, Dave Umahi, though he came out and said that his main bubbles is not that. But by the reason he gave to PDP, why he had to leave, everybody knows that he's going to uh, APC. The PDP people, he gave, uh, gave PDP a reason that the reason why he's leaving is because of injustice. There have been a lot of injustice for the Ndibos in APC. 16 years have gone by, nothing visible has been done. But going to APC, we know very well that he's going there because he wants to be at least, if not the flag bearer for uh, presidency in APC, but at least a, a vice president. Uh, we know all of that. But guess what? It's not working out that way. The whole thing, personally, looking at the scenario and how things are going, I feel that right now it is in the hands of the youth. Yeah, that's the truth. It's not only in the hands of the youth. There is this emergence of a new group of people from different political parties who may flaw the big boys that we expected. They will be the one that will carry the day. Already, as we are looking at the event of things, they not are still refusing to let go of power. Most people believe that it should go to the Southeast, that the Southeast deserve it. Fairly recently, the Southeast has even said that presidential election... Um, representation in the party in presidential election is a great determinant of the unity of the country that if they are not given the opportunity to uh, fly the flag of any key poli uh, political party come 2023 that they may decide that that will be a decider for them that they will have everything in other words whether they will stay in nigeria or whether they will not stay so but most people believe that uh, you know that is out of place, that nobody will will it or zone it to them. Most people believe that it should be a contest. Whoever that knows how to play the game of politics will carry the day. But you know that with that in mind, a lot is going to happen. So Shetima is saying that uh, nothing will happen. There is no need for fear and all of that. He's joking. I personally, if I want to give you a conclusion of this whole matter, I'm preempting. I'm not saying that I, I know very well, but looking at the political scenario, where we are coming from, I look at APC as a, a party that will disintegrate come 2023, before 2023. Because I know that there are a lot of people who are so much eager to be in the forefront for APC, that's they want to be the flag bearer for APC come 2023. The likes of Bola Tinibu, let's be real, because I could still remember far back when he uh, this guy revealed the discussion he had with him, uh, Saraki revealed the discussion he had with him. That Bola Tinibu said that the reason why he's supporting um, Buhari, even if Buhari is sick, he will still support Buhari, was because there was a promise that after now Buhari was going to hand over to him. So, sure, he's looking for an opportunity to step into the shoes of the presidency come 2023 if by any means by some hanky panky and some games pl being played out they deprive him of that privilege of flying the flag for uh, apc come 2023 i know so well that he's going to leave uh, apc because that is the most lofty position that he would love to occupy. occupy. He will leave it and then he will see how he can win other south, uh, southwesterners together 
to see how he can form a stronger political party to which we don't forget as we are talking that there are already two proposed nations that are waiting in Nigeria talking about Biafra and also you know the Oduduwa Republic so a, a lot is going to happen in 2020 if he decides to take off and leave some other people also will also want to shift out to form their political party at the end of the day APC may be so disintegrated that they may lose grip of the opportunity of producing another president come 2023 so what this guy is trying to say here for me it's just a, a political statement that does not really have any strong he's just trying to present something before the public but we all know that there is a lot of underground play that is ongoing the southeasterners are really eager to be the ones that will be the, the flag for or get the ticket for uh, apc presidential uh, 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 candidacy but if they have been deprived it may result to something that we didn't expect however i'd like to leave it there go to our comments